What's up, Yam Squad? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna sit down and we're going to react to some Passport Bros content. We're gonna to react to some Passport Boys content. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. If you're in a relationship with your man and you notice that you disrespect him. Maybe you say nasty things. Maybe you know that you could respect him more. If you look at his life and realize that you don't respect his accomplishments, what he's built, what he's made, it's completely normal for you to be disrespecting him. That's your biological DNA wiring because we are designed to wow. respect men that have more than us, biological more resources DNA. that work harder than us. So I see loads of women feeling really bad wow. because they disrespect their men and they don't want to do it. They think they're aggressive. They think they're mean. But actually, all it is is that that's your DNA and biological wiring talking to you. And what you need to do is wow. you need to get rid of this man and find one that you respect and admire. And naturally, you will not. The craziest part of what she said there is it's actually true. I think women should leave their man if they, they don't feel satisfied or whatever. If they want to go for something higher, monkey branch. But don't get angry at the men which actually go to other countries to try and find women. Because if you look at it from that perspective, right, it's this person doesn't feel like he's appreciated over here, right? Because this woman is trying to, you know, monkey branch her way up, get more resources, get a high value man. Okay, that's good. Then why would this man sit and just be there? Why doesn't he try to go down to his at least his levels where he can attract a girl so the funny part is first you attack men for being normal honest and then you attack them for going overseas to try to get a wife what which one is it if you want a monkey branch that's fine why can't a man monkey branch to something else which is in a foreign country what is wrong with that? I don't, I don't understand that. It's just the logic isn't there. Either you want equality or you don't. What happened to standing beside your man? What happened to building together? I under, so I'm starting to understand this whole passport bros thing. I'm starting to understand it. And it's, I, I saw this like what Chinese dude which was saying like, oh, it's, it's losers back home. It has nothing to do with being a loser. It just has to do with you as a person always want to utilize your money or get as much as you can for your buck. So for instance, why would you want to take out a girl in let's say America? She doesn't treat you right. She, she's, she's treating you like shit. And look at how they treat, look at how women treat the good guys. So if those good guys decide like, fuck it, I'm not getting any action here, I want to go overseas. There's nothing wrong with that. Daddy got promoted, so I appealed for more child support. He ordered a DNA test and my son failed. He put the results in my mailbox. I forgave myself for cheating, but he, he's being petty. He's been my son's dad for eight years. Why goes my child now? How to fix him? That's not a son. You got greedy, sis. You got greedy. And because of your greed, he decided to get that DNA test. He probably wanted it all along. He ain't the one that sprayed up the wall, sis. Time to find a real dad. That's what happens when you're greedy. And doing that to a person is crazy because what, eight years having a kid, taking care of this kid, paying a lot of bills and sacrificing a lot for this kid and then you find out the kid isn't yours. That is maybe the worst thing that you can do to a human being, but you know, it's a man. People laugh it off. They don't really care. We need to keep women safe in gyms. That is the BBC article that has come out this morning and I am bloody outraged. I've read the article from top to bottom and guess what? We need to keep women safe in gyms because a mother has reported to the media that her daughter was approached by a guy that wanted to help the daughter. But the daughter didn't want help. He went up and said, do you need help? Right? So a guy, a men, do women understand or are you that stupid that it's ingrained into men to want to help women? Somebody said something very interesting. I was watching uh, this podcast with, you know, the, the, the two Beavis and Butthead. I was watching the, the podcast with them. And then I saw that uh, somebody said, you guys do know that this is, 
This is the world that you have built. Why would you build a world which is oppressing you? And I thought of that and I was like, God, that's those are bars. Behind every hot girl is an ugly man from her past who paid her back in trauma. <sighs> she's not even she's not even hot. I would understand, I mean like if you were a 10, I would understand. <sighs> Women. A lot of you women are too hot for your boyfriends. The real danger with dating men, besides the obvious rape and death, murder, you know, kidnappings, <laughs> all of that. Yeah. A big side of it is gay taking a chance on the ugly guy. And I'm not talking like the ugly guy. Of I'm talking not. like the medium ugly guy. You the guy that like mom. you think's hot, but if you show your friends, they go, I'm glad we we would never fight over guys. Which has happened to me so many times. Like my main mm. clientele, I guess. This is my main area of expertise. A socially pretty girl. Oh my god. Oh my god, Elise. Oh my god. What is that? Is that, is that a new thing that you're trying? It's, it's, it's interesting. Like, oh my god. We know what she's good at. You know, what this Passport Bro movement made me realize more than anything is that American men, for the longest Medium time, bro. had ridiculously low standards. I mean, definitely low in comparison Easy. to foreign men, because, you know, at least, you know, for the most part, single moms and OnlyFans girls aren't getting married and in relationships en masse like that, even though some of them do. But it just goes to show you how the expectation of American men in society is to settle for any type of garbage that comes their way because questions like, so would you date an OnlyFans model, is actually a legitimate question or considered not a stupid question in this society. Where I'm from, a woman wouldn't be stupid enough to ask that question because that's common sense. Nobody in my country asks why you wouldn't marry a sex worker. That's not a discussion or something that anyone asks. Or no one calls you judgmental <laughs> for not wanting to do that because it's common sense. You don't do that. I mean, even the bare minimum of cooking and cleaning when they are a stay-at-home wife is something that's amazing in America, but it's like it's the standard pretty much everywhere else. Listen... Common sense isn't common anymore. Um, I think that's where I want to end this. Uh, honestly, I just think like when I look at it from that perspective, it is true. Like, why would you want to associate yourself with a OnlyFans model or even a sex worker? I mean, it's maybe the nastiest thing. They 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 figured something out before, and I'm saying like it's maybe the best thing. Maybe is to go back to the old ways because this. Whatever we're trying here isn't working right now. But anyways, guys, like, comment, and share if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.